Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the game of Hearthstone, where I, as your host Zero, shall play a game of Arena! And that is how you actually do intro. <laughs> But anyway, welcome back in terms of、uh, video. Well, welcome me back. <laughs> but, but yeah, it's、uh, basically welcome back. I haven't been doing any gaming videos lately, so I thought, might as well just do something. But before I actually go into play arena, I have some stuff for to tell you guys. So, if you guys don't want to listen and you felt that you want, you just want to watch me play、uh, the arena, you can click the skip button that I will be including in the this. Uh, not in the description. In the video, there's a button for you to skip. But anyway,、uh, I'm just gonna go through something real quick about、uh, what hap what has been happening with my life lately. I've been having、uh, quite a lot of、uh, problems coming up.、Uh, so as most of you guys、uh, know, or if you are new to the channel, I am currently at South Korea right now, studying for my masters. And some of you might know as well as you guys can see, like、uh, this video a、uh, couple of days ago, not couple of days ago, like、uh, three months ago, talking about my house got burned down, and that was、uh, actually a terrible week. But after that, I came to Korea and everything starts going well. But at the same time, when the first couple of weeks is going well, but after that, I actually got into having like、uh, quite a. Huge depression. <laughs> so I have quite a lot of depression period where I actually got uh, like uh, panic attacks and all those fun stuff. So yeah, I have a lot of、uh, depression with my personal issues, which is、uh, pretty much very devastating. <laughs> I'm sure my problems is not as depressing as majority of people, but it is nonetheless depress depressing. <laughs> For me, at least, I managed to get through it.、Uh, it's, I think I managed to get through it. So yeah, mostly about my、uh, depression with my personal life, and mostly about. <coughs> <coughs> so <laughs> I mean, like, uh, uh, life. <laughs> so yeah, I have a lot of problem with、uh, that one. I got through with that one, and everything's going out well. And I got a.、Uh, Beta invite from Blizzard with this Hearthstone game, and hopefully they let me post this game <laughs> because I really, really like this game a lot.、Uh, before before I actually play this, before I、uh, actually like、uh, watch a couple videos on it, and I really love it. And let me sh、uh, just show you real quick. So yeah, I've been playing for. A tad bit, I guess. <laughs> it's not too much、uh, comparing to the majority of people, but、uh, it's all right. And I managed to save up、uh, quite a bit, few bits of money, so we can actually play some arena. But yeah, so long story short, I after I came to Korea, the first couple of weeks was good. Then after that, I got some depression、uh, depression periods with my personal life. I it was it was really, really terrible, but I managed to pull it out and. Yeah, all thanks to my friends. <laughs> so, moral of story: <laughs> keep your friends closer because during the depression time, they can help you pretty much all the time. <laughs> so, yeah, now I am back, and hopefully, I can do a lot of videos. And in terms of this video as well, it will be going through like it will be a long video. So, I hope I think I can like basically cut up. With the video and yeah, so hopefully see how things goes. But yeah, I have a depression. <laughs> I managed to pull it off, and I am sort of all right now. <laughs> so no further ado, which is、uh, right now. Uh, if you guys、uh, skip to the video, you're probably gonna see here right now, and we shall go to the arena. So yeah, <laughs> let's play some arena game.、Uh, Okay, so before I actually press this one, I'm just gonna let you guys know.、Uh, this is my second time playing Arena. The first time、uh, me playing it was the first time, like opening the game, and I managed to draft a really, really sucky deck, <laughs> and I still managed to win like two games of it. So, do apologize for you guys if you guys are here to look at the best gaming, uh, gaming, uh. 
gaming Hearthstone video or drafting or whatever you call it, you probably gonna be very very disappointed. So yeah, I'm kind of new here. So okay, we have three heroes to choose right now. Uh, to be honest, I don't really know how to play Rogue. Moreover, I don't even know how to play Shaman. And Warlock might be. Yeah, might might as well play Warlock because I, generally speaking, three of the uh, goddamn heroes I didn't even play much. All right, so first off, we have three awesome cards to begin with. Uh, this guy is uh, I see him sometimes, but the random elements for this one is kind of uh, hard to deal with. Uh, and with uh, with Warlock is somewhat quite hard to do okay so which one do I want Hogger is a nice one Hogger uh, Ragn Ragnaros is uh, quite a good one as well okay I think I'm gonna go with uh, Hogger why not let's begin the first one with Hogger and do I have anything to do, uh, trigger this one let's see um, Shadow Bolt nope I got nothing to trigger with this one uh, no I no so getting this one will probably be a uh, Sort of a bad idea, <laughs> but maybe this one is pretty really, really bad. So I'm just gonna take this one. Might as well get some twos. And we have, uh, oh, let's see, this one, the business sergeant could work, but what am I gonna pump with? That's the problem. So I have one taunt. What well, sort of one taunt? Uh, as much as I want to get a lot of in, I think I'm gonna go with a two win yeti. Because with 4 or 5, it can basically trade very well. And I got a whole bunch of shit cards. <laughs> Drake Corsair wouldn't work at all because uh, in this uh, Warlock deck, you can't get any uh, <coughs> weapon. Sorry about that. <laughs> weapon. The War Golem is just 7-7 seven, seven without any uh, any uh, special abilities, which is which sort of make it uh, not too good. The Taunt is... Uh, <laughs> What's what's the point of getting a taunt at the beginning? It's uh, it's basically you you gotta get it trade anyway. So, but I guess we're gonna get one of this. Might as well because the rest of it looks really really terrible. All right, we have uh, Agent Squire, Flame M, and Raid Leader. Um, Raid Leader is not too bad. It's the buff that actually gets quite good. But problem is we don't have much. Amazing taunt yet. We have only the hogger, which is uh, work on circumstances. And I think we shall go with the flame because it's basically demon, and demon sort of uh, synergize with uh, warlock a lot. Agent Squire is uh, kind of a weird one, I guess. <laughs> All right, let's go with the flame mem. Okay, we have both of his ogre, fan creeper, and corruption. Three of the cards are quite good. Fan Creeper is quite good because it trades very, very well. And with the tree attack at 6 health, it does quite a good uh, tanker, <laughs> I must say. Both of his Ogre is definitely good for a bit of an endgame punch. Corruption is always good to take away uh, those uh, nasty stuff. Uh, let's see, we are kind of lacking of a taunt. Should I get a taunt? Mm, I'm tempted to get the Bogaface Ogre too, and Corruption. Well, if we have another Corruption down the road, I'm probably going to get it. But wait, hold on. Let's go with the Corruption, why not? <laughs> What's the worst thing can to happen? And we have a Blood Imp, Lepin the Noob, and Young Dragonhawk. Young Dragonhawk, we... It's totally useless with 1-1 one, one and Wind Fury. I can't imagine what kind of uh, monster you can trade it with uh, Wind Fury because the maximum damage you can go with is probably 2 unless you try to buff it, but it's kind of waste to buff uh, a 1-1-1 one, one, one kind of monster. And Lepinum is quite good because the death is pretty much guaranteed like a 4 damage if, it's, uh, if you manage to... Uh, deal two damage to your hero, and as well as uh, kill yourself in a part of the process, you have like a uh, four damage. But in this case, I'm gonna go, go with uh, stealth, blood him because stealth and plus one to all health uh, creatures, which is very very good if you I manage to get like a uh, hogger out. And yeah, it's uh, not too bad. So all right, here we have Lord of the Arena. 
Void Walker and Earthen Ring Farseer. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> Earthen Ring Farseer is not uh, not too amazing. It's like three, 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 so it's not <laughs> really much of a. It's decent, but hmm, we could go with a uh, huge taunt here. Yeah, might as well just go with the taunt here. All right, we have. Golden Shear, Golden Shy, Fortman, <laughs> Agent Squire, and Spellbreaker. No doubt with Spellbreaker because we need some silence at least. And we have some legendaries. And let's see what I'm uh, I'm gonna get. We have Mountain Giant, Hungry Crab, and Sea Giant. This one we can pretty much discard it because we don't have any Murloc and pretty much it's quite useless <laughs> to say the least. And Sea Giant costs one less for each other minion on the field. All right. So we don't really have much min. Well, we have decent no minions. So, but it's kind of hard to keep them out. Well, this one costs each less for other cards in your hand, which is um. What should I get? I think both are quite good. Hmm. Let's see. Should I get the mountain giant or the sea giant? Um. Well, if actually if I manage to get Hogger out and combo with this one, probably would be very very good. So I'm just gonna get the Sea Giant. Why not? Why the hell not? <laughs> All right, now we have Storm Wind Champion, Frost Element, and Chill Wind Yeti. Chill Wind Yeti is uh, quite a good card with four four, uh, four 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 attacks and five health, which is uh, always a good card. The more health is, the better it is, as uh, my personal opinion. Frost Element is pretty much. Uh, okay card it freezes a character which is uh not highly ideal because it can't remove the character but it immobilize a character which is uh not entirely the best and they have an announcement in the back which uh, <laughs> is in the dawn but anyway we have stormwind champion as well which is a good card but we have like one two should i get it hmm yeah i'm wait Let's get the second Chewing Daddy. Why not? As much as I want to get that uh, Stormwind Champion, but I think I'm going to stick with... Uh, uh, what you call it with that one? So now we have a Flame Imp. We already have one Flame Imp. Um, we have Hellfire as well. Hellfire probably is a good removal, but it will da da basically damage ourselves. But we have... Might as well get some Hellfire because we need some removal. Alright, now we have... Power overwhelming gives a friendly minion four four until the end of the turn. Then <laughs> it dies horribly. Okay, this one is uh Do I have anything to combo with? I think probably not. That's not really highly ideal. Uh we could do another hellfire to be honest. We have quite a lot of on the force. So my Hmm, I'm tempted to get still back Patriarch because we can. We are kind of lacking on the trees. Hmm, let's get the Hellfire, why not? Okay, now we have Iron Big Out, Torrent Warrior, and Suncubus. Suncubus is a kind of good card because you, with two mana, you manage to get a four, uh, four attack and three health card out early. Which is uh, good, but the downside of it, you basically have to discard a card. And yeah, it's not too good. <laughs> With the Total War, it's uh, not so good in my opinion, but I think we're gonna get with the Silent Big Cow, so we have two, basically two. Uh, to silence in the deck, which is always good. All right, Demon Fire deals two damage to a minion, gives us a friendly minion instead of two two. Instead, which is uh, it's all right. It's a good removal, I suppose, because we are we are kind of lacking with twos. We have one, two, three, three removals. I am tempted to get a corruption. <laughs> hmm. Getting a second corruption is always good, but Mad Bomber, oh, <laughs> I heard a lot of stories about Mad Bomber, which is uh, not highly ideal. But anyway, um, I think I'm going to go with uh, corruption, why not? Why not? Alright, now we have Shoe Barrel, which is uh, totally useless, unless I manage to buff it. 
which I highly doubt, so I don't have any buff around to keep intact with it. Um, the Fairy Dragon is always good because it can't be targeted by spells, which is, uh, yeah, it's always the good one. Let's get this too, let's pump it up a bit of twos. Alright, now we have the Archmage, which is always good. The Seven Health is a kind of a weird one to, for other people's trade with, That's therefore it makes a good card. Ancient Brewmaster, it's a good card to combo with uh, Battlecry. And we have a ton, Void Walker, which we do not want. <laughs> Alright, so what can we combo with if we got the Ancient Brewmaster? Nothing at all. <laughs> and we do not want to combo with a Flame Elm. So might as well get an Archer, so we have like a decent amount of punch at the back. Alright, we have Ogre Magi, with, with basically it's like... the uh, Slightly weaker of Chewinetti. We have another Chewinetti here, which we can choose. And we are kind of liking of the trees and the fives, actually. This curve is a bit weird. <laughs> uh, should I get another Chewinetti? Or should I get an Ogre Magi? Because if I get an Ogre Magi, it's generally it's not gonna combo with anything good here, so I'm just gonna get with a chewing edit. So three chewing edits, we can't go anything wrong with that. Now we have Earth Ring Fast here, a Grim Scale Oracle and a Shadow Bolt. Alright, Shadow Bolt. It's a good form of removal and I'm not gonna get that one because I have don't have any uh what you call it Murlocs in the deck. Earth Ring Fast here is all oh, it's decent but we are kinda lacking on the trees and well we could get the Shadow Bolt, why not? <laughs> it's a good form of removal. Alright, now we have Emperor Cobra. Cobra? This is not too bad of a card, but it's basically a one for one trade kind of card, which is uh, not too good. Swap the attack and health of the enemy. Uh, wait, Alpha Mi Minion, right. Um, Not too good. Hmm, with Stampeding Kodo, it's uh, not too bad at all. Hmm, we are kind of, uh, let's see, we have twos, uh, ones, I think it's pretty much enough with the ones and twos. We have quite a lot of ones and twos, so we might as well get it with the Stampeding Kodo. Or we could go with the Emperor Cobra. Hmm, I'm gonna go with this one, might as well. It might be the worst choice ever, but <laughs> hey, we just have to deal with it. Alright, we have uh, Drake Corsio, Iron Forge Rifleman, and Junker Panda. Junker Panda is clearly uh, my favorite choice in this one because it basically has stealth, it's hard to get rid of, and has 4 and 2 health, which is uh, quite a decent one. I'm not going to get uh, draw Drake Corsair with uh, a Warlock deck. Are you crazy? <laughs> So totally not gonna happen, and I am forged right from the man is pretty much not an ideal situation to use. All right, now we have uh, three special cards. We have mind control tech, which uh, controls a minion at the end of the turn. Uh, not end of the turn. If I have four more or more minions, which is uh, kind of a random. Okay, we have void terror. Destroy the minion on either side of this minion. And gain their health, attack and health. Destroy the minion on either side of this minion. Ow! Oh, okay. uh -huh. Wow, this is a uh, interesting one. Hmm. So we're not gonna use this one. This although you have to discard two cards to get this one, but the void terror might. I think it might be able to work. Yeah, I'm just gonna try the Void Terror, why not? It might be the worst, <laughs> worst situation ever. Okay, now we have Exceeded Swamp Ooze, Cult Master, and Blood Seal Raider. Cult Master might be a decent one, since, um, yeah, Cult Master might be a decent one because we kind of, uh, well, not really, we are kind of good with the draw card, basically, we can go with, uh, the uh, life tap. So, some old uh, acidic swamp ooze. Try and get it. Yeah, might as well. But the rest, I don't really like it. Okay, we have a shadow bolt, a wagon infiltrator, and an elven archer. We are doing quite good with the ones. Although I would trade this one for wagon infiltrator, but we already do with 
have, but so I'm gonna go with a Shadow Bolt. Two Shadow Bolts, why not? Okay, sense demon. All right, how many demons do I have? I have one demon, two demons, and yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> A warlock deck that doesn't have much demons. Oh boy. Okay, we could now take another corruptions or a dread inferno. Um, uh, I'm think I'm gonna get a dread inferno because we are kind of lacking on the bottom side there. So I might get. Let's see, uh, I'm tempted to get this one, but we don't have much demons to rely on, so might as well just go with this Dread Inferno. And we have a third Shadow Bolt! <laughs> Amazing! Uh, we have a Summoning Portal as well. This Silverman Guardian is actually quite good, with, uh, although we have one more mana extra in terms of the cost, but it has a Divine Shield, which pretty much trades very well. Very well. I must say, but we have um. Let's see. Do we have much? Uh, uh what you call it? We have a lot of uh, uh taunt. Wait, how many taunts we have? We have one here, a lot of arena, and we have. Yeah, that's pretty much it. With. <laughs> Okay, so we don't really have a ton, which is uh, kind of bad, but we're gonna go with another Shadow Bolt. Why not? Alright, uh, we have a uh, Silver Back Patriarch. Mm, Sense Demon, we have one Demon, two Demons, and three. And that's pretty much it, which is kind of useless. And all these cards is kind of useless too. So I'm, I think I'm gonna take the silver back patriarch oh no the silver back patriarch is a terrible card to get but I can't say much with these two cards as well so I'm just gonna get the taunt because we are kinda lacking with the taunt so now we have jungle panther silver back patriarch and the silver hand nike we are kinda lacking of five and this one pretty much gives us a a 4-4 four, four and a 2-2, two, two, which is 2 minions on the field, which is always good we are quite high in the tree so might as well get some fives all right, we now we have Amani Berserker, Night Blade, and Gurubashi Berserker. So Gurubashi Berserker actually works quite well. Hmm, let's see if I manage to make it behind a tall wall, it probably could do quite well. And after that, go with uh, combo with uh, Void Terror, which <laughs> probably will be the amazing stuff, uh, the most amazing thing you can ever see. Or I could go with Amani Berserker, which is uh, not too shabby but i'm gonna go with Gorobashi Grub berserker because we're kind of lacking the fives all right so we have some furry protector which is uh, not too bad it, oh we might get we might we might get this one instead because we're definitely not gonna get it mana off because what's the point and arjun commander might do well but we not gonna go there so the last card will be some furry protector and hula <laughs> So yeah, let's uh, test out our skills in terms of uh, doing what we can. So let's play a game! And I'm gonna drink some water. <laughs> so excuse me for I drink some honey lemon. And the loading is quite long. I'll probably gonna cut the loading time, just in case. Just and we shall go into a game and we shall fight with against pawn stars <laughs> and we have a terrible beginning which uh, this guy is quite good but this too nope not at all all right give me something decent okay this not too shabby not too shabby hand indeed let's begin oh wow this is good <laughs> All right, which one should I do? Um, I'm tempted to go with him. Um, just to get like a sort of, uh, yeah, I might as well go with this one. Just to get a uh, sort of like, hey, you have to deal with this monster right about now, or not, you're gonna get screwed really, really badly. And I hope my microphone does all right because I keep seeing like spikes in terms of my voice so I apologize for the random spikes that I actually do I will try my best to balance it out alright so you have no first move which is always good let's um I'm tempted to get Ivan News alright let's get this Ivan News out because uh, generally his uh, 
I don't think Druid, Druid has any weapons, so it's generally uh, the battle cry for that one doesn't do well with it. And in terms of the aerial attack, I don't recall any aerial attack around. So that's that will be that. Alright, we have uh, Iron Biko. Oh, mm, we are kind of lacking in terms of the hand cards, uh, in terms of the advantage of hands. So we're going to do a live tap. And we have a taunt. And we're going to go this one. There we go. And this is a terrible trade. <laughs> but we're going to remove the fuel just to balance it out. And there you go. Amazing. <laughs> And you might notice as well, I pl I do play this card game faster than usual, which is I have no idea why. Basically, every time I play this game, I play it really, really fast for some reason. So I tend to make a lot of mistakes. And we have a three-two panther, which basically trade well with this one. And you make a five. Wait, what? What just happened? <laughs> okay, uh, amazing. Right. <laughs> Okay, I'll take that any time. So we have one. Uh, we might want to remove this guy here. So I'm trying to figure out. We could go with a taunt, uh, which is uh, yeah, might as well. We go with a taunt, and we have one health left, and we just have to get rid of uh, yeah. Okay, I'm probably gonna regret my my decision ever, but we have to <laughs> we have to do with what I ha we have, and yeah, I'm probably gonna regret my decision right now. I should have taken out this panther instead of letting it to be alive. Or oh, we could always go with the shadow bolt, which is uh, not a good idea <laughs> because we do want to keep it out a bit of a. Okay, we have to take it out that guy. Like immediately, <laughs> like immediately. Okay. Okay, trade off. There we go. Amazing trade. And you're gonna go with me. Amazing. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay. So we have. Um, let's see. We have five mana. We could go with uh, Chewinetti. Yeah, uh, Nelly probably will be good. Hmm, I'm tempted to go with uh, Kobumat Master. I might want to kill this guy first and trade this one off and get the Kobumat Monster. Hmm, yeah, I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna keep my Chewing Yeti for the next round. Do a life tap. Shadow Bolt. And we have to get rid of this guy. Get rid of this guy. And I should do the other way around. Oops! <laughs> Oh my god, I, that is so totally a mistake. <laughs> right. <laughs> Never mind, I actually, I managed to clear the board, which is good enough for me, I guess. <laughs> Alright, we are doing quite okay with the health, I think. No, not really. Our health is pretty much the same, but I do manage to get myself a board advantage. <laughs> and it has a murloc. Amazing. <laughs> And he's going straight after me. Even amazing. Alright, so what we're gonna do? Uh, we have Chewing Yeti. Mm, yeah, Chewing Yeti is probably a good choice right here. I might want to remove the two. Yep, Chewing Yeti. A life tap. And we have a Hellfire. Which is amazing for removal. I'm just gonna get rid of this one. Why not? Probably this is gonna be a bad idea, but we just... Just stick with it. <laughs> All right, let's see what else. Come on, guy, make your decision, and play faster than usual because this is a game card and you have to play faster. So I <laughs> you probably can hear me clicking madly right now just to wait for them. Okay, come on. Okay, let's see what it's gonna do. It's gonna use a removal. Oh my lord. Okay, it just managed to burn it one of the removal, which is um, pretty much alright with it. Okay, what should I do? Uh, I have a lot of removal. <laughs> oh well, let's just get another Chewing Yeti out. And life tap, because why the hell not? And end the turn. So, it's, it has like 7 mana right now, and it has a lot of cards which he hasn't not. 
play yet. So in turn 8, I might need to start using my Shadow Bolt for like getting his health down. Maybe. <laughs> because we do still have Hellfire as well, just to take out anything that he managed to put on the board. And yeah, it might combo well with this one. Oh shit. <laughs> okay, we have to figure out how to get... Oh, damn. Okay, so I figure out... Hmm, should we go with Hellfire? Oh wait, we could go with this one. And go with Hellfire, which is uh, not really an ideal situation. I could put this one out, but it probably could be killed by that guy here. Let's see, should I use Corruption? Hmm... We could go with this guy. Yeah, let's go with Grobashi Berserker. And then we have to kill this guy. Choose an enemy in your turn. So it's pretty much useless. We can get rid of it with a Shadow Bolt, which I don't want to do it, but we have to anyway. And... I'm just gonna go with this. Yeah. <laughs> that might not be the best uh, decision ever, but sometimes we have to make sacrifices. And this one gonna combo with this one, which is always good. Alright, let's just do it. Oh! Hmm, maybe I should use my Iron Big Ow instead to take off this guy. Then after that, we can do with a Dread Inferno instead. So it's 6, 7, 8. Yeah, probably is that that would be amazing. Wait, I'm gonna use Kirby Bash to kill this one. Uh I am Bikao to kill this one and I probably gonna kill my Oh damn <laughs> Okay. Now we have amazing tactic to use. Okay, so we have to use I am Bikao. Wait, hold on. So what am I gonna do first? Uh so it's eight damage we can silence this one. Yeah, why not? Silence this one. And then we go with uh deal one damage. Wait, hold on. Kill this guy. There we go. And then uh we do with a Dread Inferno. Why the hell not? To kill my own one? Cause why the hell not? And then we just, uh, should I kill this one? Yeah, why not? And then should I use this one as this one? Because it basically can get 8 attack. But it probably would trade with this one. So I'm just gonna let it trade. If it doesn't work, then boop. <laughs> Wait, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, the 12 plus 16, 6, 7, 8. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> I hate you so much. God dang it. Okay, I just got silenced. Um, how am I going to do this? So with six, 15 health, I have like uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Nope, not enough. And 3, 4, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12, 13. Nope, still not enough. Um, God dang it, I don't really know what to do. Okay, so we have to make decisions right now. Okay, we're going to bring out the Sea Giant. Uh, get rid of this guy. And should I get rid of this guy as well? Because we have 8, uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Mm hmm... I uh, might as well just get rid of this guy. There we go. Now we have a bit of a bot control, which is <laughs> I'm gonna, probably going to die really soon. <laughs> oh boy. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Eat. Okay. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. So we have a Hellfire, which probably could take out... At least one of it and damage this guy in the process. We have 3, 8, 9, 10, 11, uh, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, shit! Okay, wait, wait, hold on. Let's hit this guy first and do this. And well played! 
Holy shit! Oh no! Oh shit! Ah! Uh, <laughs> oh, fuck me! Oh shit! <laughs> oh my god! I do not know. I thought Shadow Ford can actually kill him. I miscalculated like an idiot. Oh boy! I'm probably gonna get screwed here. Yep, I'm gonna get screwed here. I'm gonna get screwed here. Oh fuck me! Like seriously. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> I miscalculated. Ah, oh, fucking hell! <laughs> well, that is certainly embarrassing for the first game. <laughs> oh, that's a so. <laughs> Oh, that's a little embarrassing. But that is it for the first game, and I shall cut this to a 